So Kevin Doucette versus Song Kanan just wrapped up. And that exceeded all of my expectations completely for Kevin Doucette. I picked Kevin Doucette to win, but I was worried because of his tall man defense. He might get rocked or something or, you know, that Song Kanan was live. But he really just made that a fucking striking masterclass in that fight there. Like, he really just beat up on uh, Song Kanan there. Like, better performance than Ian Gary's. Obviously, Ian Gary got a finish, but Ian Gary got dropped in that fight. Obviously, I'm not saying Kevin G sets, like, on Ian Gary's level or anything. I'm just saying, like, stylistically, he did a better job against Song Kanan. Won every single round. Dominated him. Pieced him up. Bloodied him. Fucking bruised his face up. Like, broke some significant strike records. He's in the top 10 now for significant strikes in a welterweight fight. Broke, uh, I think he broke a leg kick record as well. Like, that was a really impressive performance from Kevin Doucette. Like, this guy started as a judoka. Like, now he's actually a really seasoned striker, jabbing people up, leg kicking the shit out of them. CKB, good mix for him. You know, he's gotten really good after training there. And also, I want to mention... How fucking good is Jack Della Maddalena and Caleb Rideout? Because they both beat him dominantly in their fights. He didn't win a single round, in my opinion, against Caleb Rideout. Even though it's a split decision, that was a weird split decision. It was a clear, like, at best, 49, 46, 45, no, 49. 49, 46, sorry, yeah. Best, at best, it's 49, 46 for... Kevin Giuseppe, but Caleb Rideout went out and beat there, but still, Ke- Ke- Kevin Giuseppe looked really good, man, he looked fucking amazing, like, that was a really good performance, uh, be interesting to see who he next, who he gets next, he didn't get to make a call out, but he has previously called for Ian Gary, and I would love to see that fight down the road, but I don't know if it will happen, but, you know, he's 2-0 and now in the UFC, like, five fight winning streak, generally is fucking crazy how the sport goes, you can lose a fight, and everyone's like completely off you, and then now, you know, he's now he's 5-0, and 2-0 and in the UFC, it's crazy to see how this sport goes, but Chad performance from Kevin Doucette, really good performance here, like, he looked really fucking good, like, <laughs> jabbing him up, it was a striking masterclass, like, the best way I can describe that fight is that was an absolute masterclass here from Kevin Doucette. Like, he really did just beat the fucking brakes off him. Like, really did badly beat the brakes off him. Like, yeah, just a really fucking solid, solid, solid performance. Like I I say, didn't even see him use any judo here. He he tripped him at one point when Song Kanan came in for a takedown. Obviously, uh, Kevin Doucette does have the judo background, as I mentioned. So, he used that to reverse him and trip him over. But didn't even use any grappling at all this fight. Pretty much just completely... He shot a takedown, but I think that was more to just throw Song Kanan off. But he really just badly beat the shit out of him, man. He really fucking beat the shit out of him. Uh, how good is Max Griffin, though? He actually KO'd Song Kanan. I can't... I can't believe that, generally. I fucking can't, like... Because, like, I don't know. Song Kanan's chin is insane. So how fucking hard does Max Griffin hit? Uh, but... Yeah, that was, a, that was a textbook striking masterclass there from Kevin Doucette. Uh, be interesting to see who he gets next. Honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing him versus the Leech. I don't know if they'll do that next because the Leech is pretty highly ranked, but the Leech would be a pretty good fight. Uh, durable, powerful guy. Like, that could be a really fun fight for them. But I don't know. I don't know who they give Kevin Doucette next. I'll maybe, I'll figure someone out later, but... Still really good performance there. And Song Kanan's fucking chin. What is his chin made of? Like, it's such an inconsistent chin though, I swear to God. I'm trying to think, is there anything I missed in that fight? Uh, a lot of body attacks. He did go to the body well. Went to the legs a lot. Uh, jabbed up his face. Bruised him. Showed a good chin like always. He did get hit with a big shot that sort of stumbled. Kevin G said a little bit, but not too much. He recovers quick and he has a good chin, so he was all right there. But yeah, just a solid performance. Really just fucking... Like the best way I can describe that is he really just like fucking beat his ass. Like, I don't know. 
I feel like fucking maybe Son Canaan owed him money or something because like that generally was a fucking brawl. That was like a Muay Thai fight. Like that did that felt like an actual Muay Thai fight in there. Like I'm not even kidding. That felt like a fucking Muay Thai fight. But still, great performance there from uh, Kevin Giuseppe. Like, look at Son Kanan's face, man. He got fucking brutalized. Jesus Christ. And it doesn't even tell the whole story. Like, he got beat up worse than he looks, and he looks really badly beat up. Like, I'm not even, like, exaggerating. He really got badly fucking brutalized. But still, great performance from Son, uh, from Kevin Doucette. Absolute masterclass. But that's all I got to mention there. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you give this video a like. Let me know your thoughts on Kevin Giuseppe's performance. If you're not already, subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.